Hello, good evening and welcome to All About Sport, live from the top of the town studios, Conley Street Cabin, on your local TV cable channel and on cabintv.com. My name is Louise O'Reilly and I'm standing in for Owen this week. Each week we will continue to include a wide variety of sport from all around County Cavan. And if you would like your sport featured in All About Cavan, simply contact drumlamedia at gmail.com. This show will be live on the internet every Wednesday evening at 7pm and there will also be deferred coverage on Smith's Cable Vision and CavanTV.com. On the programme this evening we feature Rally Cross and Castle Rahan GAA Football Club. Rally Cross was created in the 1970s as a form of motorsport made for TV. Events take place over a combination of tarmac and loose surfaces. An acceleration is fast on a Formula One car at 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under 3 seconds with up to 180 miles per hour. Normally between 5 and 8 cars compete together on the track at any one time and this results in an intense examination of the ability of the driver. Rally Cross provides an experience bearing close to the ultimate G-force thrill. Viewers, especially young drivers, should not undertake to drive like this in standard cars or on ordinary roads. Later on in the programme, we'll be taking a detailed look at Castle Rahan GAA Football Club and its activities. But first this evening, we talk to Desi Tierney and Kieran Monaghan. So Kieran Monaghan was runner-up in the Junior Championships last year and hopes to go one better this year. But first, we will talk to De Desi. So Desi, you're welcome to the show. Give us a little background about Rally Cross and how you became involved. Thank you. Well, Rally Cross was created in the 70s, as I said, for TV. And I also had an interest in motorsport and gradually done local events first and then progressed to do the national events and some of the British rounds. And I know you've competed in the Irish and Northern Irish and English Rally Cross Championships. Um, tell us a little bit more about them. You're still competing, I believe. No, we're still competing, yeah. We've done the Irish Rally Cross Championship this year, which is a winter championship. It starts in October and finishes in March. We finished uh, fourth overall in the championship and third in the class this year. Okay, so you're kind of aiming then for um, a first place, I take it, then this coming winter, are you? Yeah, we certainly would like to be go a little bit better this year, you know. So, um, Desi, you're in full training at the moment. Um, tell us a little bit about the kind of training that's involved in Rallycross. Well, you have to keep yourself fit. We do a bit of bicycle on the bikes during the week and a bit of uh, physio in the gym and that keeps keep fit around the summer. Fantastic. And um, we'll come to you, Paul Monaghan, you're um, Kieran Monaghan's dad. Yes. And I know you've competed yourself um, for, for many years, but you're going to maybe talk to us and tell us a little bit, bit about you know, the safety um, side of Rally Cross and I suppose and the importance of that. Yeah, um, basically the cars has to be a, a certain spec. Um, from Motorsport Ireland makes out a set of rules and uh, each car is fitted like with a road cage and um, special uh, rally seats, bucket seats, and a uh, six pint harness for your seat belts or safety belts. And um, it's um, uh, helmets, of course, uh, and uh, balatavas and rally suits all has to be fireproofed, uh, gloves as well has to be worn. So that's basically just uh, the run of it. Um, and so your son. Um uh, Kieran, I know you got um, second place in the County Cavan Motorsports Championships um, this year, was it? Yeah, this year. Um, hopefully next year we'll go on to maybe win the, the overall championship, new car built for it. So. A, new, a new car built for it. And who is building the car for you or who puts uh, these particular cars together? Well, myself, with a bit of help from my father, uh, put the car together and of course uh, the sponsorships. We need, we need sponsors to uh, sponsor money for things like tyres and brakes and bits for components for the engine and stuff like that without them uh, the car wouldn't be as far on as it is. Um, sponsors we have our Buds Nursery, uh, BJD Electrical, Class Cleaners and AJK Steelworks but so we're always looking for more. Always looking for lots of sponsorship because I'm sure like it's tyres and you know all this equipment costs a lot of money so it, it's vital that you do get sponsorship to kind of continue with the sport and I'm sure you want to you know um, go to the top this year with the championships and come out with a first place and and I believe here you're only 17 years of age and tell us how long have you been driving and involved in the rally cross? Yeah I've been involved since I was 12 years of age. <laughs> Which is shocking to think that you're been driving from so from your that height very very young 
And I mean, um, license requirements at that age, you know, um, I suppose Paul, you could tell us a bit more about that, you know. Yeah, well, um, at 12 years of age, you can't actually um, rally in, in Southern Ireland. So he was doing uh, some championships in Northern Ireland. And uh, when he was 16 then, um, he got his Motorsport Ireland license, so he was able to compete then in the County Cabin Motor Club Championship. So he has to have a particular, so he's obviously not, can't drive on the, you know, national roads of Ireland. No, but no it's, it's a special license. It's issued by the government body, which is Motorsport Ireland for, for Ireland. And uh, they issue everybody. Each one of us has to have a license. Desi has to have one, I have to have one. If, you, if you're competing in, in rallying or rally cross. Yeah, you have to have. You one. have to have a license, yeah, and that includes a uh, medical from your doctor, and it's quite quite strict. Okay, so and I suppose it's governed by the uh, Motorsport Ireland, yeah, so it's really, very yeah. standardised um, yeah. uh, sport. Um, and also, you know, the, the, the training. Where do you, you know where can you train or where can you get involved to practice your your sport? Like, I mean, I know you said it takes place in quarries and on loose surfaces. Um, Desi, where you know. Would you practice? Well, there is um, practice days. You can, you can hire out tracks like Mandela Park and Bishop's Court in Northern Ireland and different ones like that. I'm sure that costs money. Testing. You can't just oh, it does, turn yeah, up. Yeah. You have to hire out for the day and, uh, and do testing and different checks on the car. And that's the way we do it, you know. Because um, like, as most motorsports, it's a, it's a high-risk sport. So um, on insurance purposes, you know, are you covered? You have to have had a kind of high Yeah, um, motor, motorsport Ireland in, the, in your entry fee. You obviously pay an entry fee to compete in each in each event and uh, included in your entry fee is um, your insurance it's um, I don't know what I don't know how much it, much it is but it's part of your of your entry fee Do, so, is there a big um, you know cabin club um, yeah well there's a um, motor club motor club in, in in most counties in in, in Ireland but uh, cabin yeah it'd be one of the cabin motor club would be 40 years ago, and was it? 40 years ago, it would be one of the bigger strong. clubs, or one of the stronger clubs, and it would have a membership of maybe up to 200 people. So. Brilliant. Um, I suppose, um, getting back to, to Kieran, you have, um, you know, I suppose a young and up-and-coming driver in the club, and with great potential, so it's really vital for you to get, you know, to get sponsorship. So if there's anyone out there watching and would love to sponsor um, Kieran and has an interest in Rally Cross would like to get some sponsorship, you know, for Kieran. I suppose you can, um, I suppose, get in touch with um, the the the, uh, the motor club. Or the motor club. Yeah, so you yeah, just have a website it's actually, the Rally yeah, Cross. Yeah, it's um, County Cabin Motor Club. Okay. Com. So County Cabin Motor Club. Club. Com. So if you want to contact any of the guys or you're interested and love to kind of help some of the young and up and coming uh, drivers and and to give them a bit of sponsorship and help them on their way, that would be. Would be brilliant. Be much appreciated, I'm sure. Um, so, um, tell us then, Desi. Um, you've got um, your the two different types of competitions. Um, you have the the rally cross. Your competition coming up. It's a different league than say the competition Kieran would be competing in as yeah. such, is it? Well, it would be. Yeah, it'd be eight cars competing on the track at any one time. You know, it's it's a quarter time like and quarter loose. So, in, for example, you're actually mm -hmm. racing. It's who can get to the finish line. It's actually racing. Yes. It's an actual yeah. race, yeah. and in comparison to the competition, Kieran will be taking part in. It's a timed race. Time against the clock. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We race eight cars together, and we wins each heat, then progresses to the finals, and then there's three sets of finals. So it, the fastest cars win each final. Okay. Um, so these are no kind of ordinary cars. You know, for example, if I hopped into one now, you know, well, how would I feel after a uh, uh, I run around the track, but I'd be feeling sore and you know aches and pains. Not just you know, it's like any sport, you have to have a high level of fitness. Yeah, it's it, it, it's pretty for for the normal person getting into the car. Yes, yeah, it it feels different um, because you're you're tightened into the seats and and uh, you know your helmet buckled up tight and you know it, it just all feels feels different. So these cars are very modified. Yeah, you know, especially for your, the sport. especially your neck and that with with with, with the G forces. You know, it yeah. needs to be strong. So you the, the muscles in it. Yeah. So you'd be kind of working out like what type of you know um, training would you yourself do, um, Kieran? Well, we'd go uh, maybe jogging and cycling and stuff like that, and do a bit of weights. The weights, I suppose, that would probably really important to kind of build up the muscles mm -hmm. around the neck. Have you had any uh, crashes or any near ones? <laughs> no serious ones so far, mm -hmm. thank God. So. So it's just kind of to take care out there, I suppose, is the main. Um, 
yeah. the main thing just to be careful on the tracks and um so um uh, i suppose um paul tell us um a little bit about um i suppose the future and where you want to see um you know kieran going with with the sport and well it's only a sport at the end of the day so you know because you can't get take it too serious so. Um, unless you have a very good sponsor, yeah, <laughs> that's just the way it is. But um, no, he's he's young enough and and uh, um, should be fit enough to to be able to compete compete with the best. So you know, it just um, it depends on car. Like uh, uh, each each t car is run in different classes depending on your CC, your engine, and that. So you know, you're not. It 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 brings it back down that the money end of it doesn't. You know, you can spend a lot of money on it, or you can spend a small amount of money on it. But you know, you can still win your class, or still win prizes, just you know, without spending too much money. You know. So would you actually have to go? Can you buy <coughs> these particular um, cars for the sport, or do you just take a car and then strip it down and build it back well, up? Well, we we usually take take a car and then just re just completely build it ourselves because it's the cheaper way of of doing it. But you can go out and buy a car from you know. That's that's already built, but uh, we we would build our own our cars and engines and gearbox. We would do everything ourselves to keep the cost down. To keep the cost down. So yeah. I mean, definitely, um, we all everyone out there knows how how expensive mm. it is to run a car. So I can imagine it's it's yeah. not a cheap sport at all. No, so sponsorship no, is um, is vital. Okay. Mm. So um, uh, thank you very much for coming in and for thank talking you. about it. And yeah. I think. Um, we're going to be showing some uh, video footage from um, Kieran from the County Cavan um, Championships that you got second place in. Is that right? A little bit of footage. Yeah. From the quarry, is it? From the quarry, yeah. From the quarry it's, it's Desi's car. Actually, oh, Desi's running. car. Yeah, it's from the quarry, yeah. Oh, okay, fantastic. So we're just going to um, have a look here at some of the footage.
actual video you can see that the car actually only got into third gear so um didn't get um up to full speed so now join us next we have um uh, two representatives from Castle Rahan GAA um, Football Club who are organising a fun day on Sunday the 6th of May. That's this coming Sunday, so at the club ground. And we have Park Smith and Anne McPhillips to talk um, all about the fun day and what it's um, what it entails. So um, you're very welcome, uh, Park and Anne, to the Thank studio. Um, so Park, um, tell us a little bit about this fun day. Um, it's a 25k fun challenge and family fun day taking place this Sunday, the 6th of May. Tell, yes. us, tell us about the event that's coming up. I know there's lots happening. It's, uh, it starts at um, 12 o'clock. The, the 5K run starts at 12 and uh, it's followed by the 20K cycle. Um, the, the run itself uh, takes in a loop out towards the UNs and back into the town and it finishes in Fay Park where, the, where uh, if you're doing a relay event, you change over your band onto the cyclist and the cyclist will get on his bike, put on his helmet, which is very important and uh, do a loop then where it goes out to Rasson Road and into Kinnalek, back out to Kilifasi Cross and back into the town where it finishes outside Fay Park. Um, we hope to have it a good fun challenge, it's meant to be fun but it's also a serious event as well. We hope to have um, some serious triathlon people taking part in the event as well. Um, so weather permitting, hopefully it will go well. But most important to mention as well I suppose that it uh, the registration for this event takes part, you can take register on the day uh, from 10 o'clock till half 11 and then the briefing will start at half 11 to 12 and the race will start sharp at 12 o'clock. So anybody who uh, is um, a cyclist or a runner can take part either uh, just, to, to do, sorry, just to do the run or to do both events. Okay, so you don't, if you think, well, I'm not really into cycling, you can team up with somebody and two people can take part. Yes, yeah, so, or, or you, if you just want to register for one event, we will team you up with somebody to do the second All event. right, so you don't have to. You can meet, meet a new friend on the day, so you don't necessarily could, uh, have to bring along a friend or a family member. No. Um, and, you know, I suppose the importance of sponsorship, um, I suppose, and, and you know, um, for the fundraiser, how important is sponsorship for this fundraiser? Oh, it's very, very, very important. <coughs> Well, we have uh, Liffy Meats is uh, sponsoring, and we have Centro, Brian Sloy, D'Amico's, Super Value in Virginia, uh, Park Wooden, and we have a lot more sponsors, you know, still coming in, like, at the moment. Uh, That's right, yes. You're targeting all lots of um, local com companies, like, you know. So it's all the larger kind of uh, companies and businesses. Kind of away from, it, you know, the business in the town, do you know what I mean? They do a lot all year round, so we kind of just went to more of the bigger companies to see how we get on this time to kind of push it on which is great and tell us i know so we've got the um 25k fun challenge starting at 12 o'clock on um on sunday and um you can if you still want to register or you know um get involved you can check it out on www.castlerahangaa.ie so and um admission is one euro so um and it's great just to get out there you know and support the local event i think it's for lots of people from all over can take part it's not just for the castle yes. and and local areas so anyone who's interested in it tell us what else is happening so after the the fun challenge the 25k one well uh, we have a novelty match between castle Rahan school and st clair's national school in valley james Duff. Uh -huh. um, that should be a real fun event and an exciting yeah. one for the parents of all the kids involved uh, that is followed by the coast guard helicopter which is arriving at four o'clock. Um, this is a very big machine and should mm. create some excitement uh, around the town and in the field that day. Um, they hope to do a uh, rescue uh, uh, that day. Um, so some lucky person will get rescued uh, that day <laughs> in, in the fields. From, from the top of the, the changing rooms or something. Yeah, maybe like from that. the ducking pond or something yeah. like that. <laughs> they um, taken up. And uh, we also have um, the duck and chair duck racing um, races for all the kids as well and a lot more novelty events on yeah. the day as well so all the, those will be going on from half one onwards and of course the prize given from the uh, after the race as well okay i think we have some photos from a previous previous event um and they're coming up there now so this is um brian, Bri brian mulvey he's in a ducking chair looks like <laughs> looks like a lot of fun and yeah there he's getting dunked 
Um, and this is the casting around. Is this the ladies? This is the young girls. This Catherine is the young up and coming ladies. Den football club. club. Yeah. <clears throat> and who's in the hot seat now? Fergal Flanagan. Fergal Flanagan. Yeah. So uh, next to be to be to be docked. So th these look like some of the lo local footballers. So um, yeah, lots of activities as you can see on screen. Um, you know, slides and lots of different things. You know, for the kids and for the families. And all the dads can come along and get get ducked. Brilliant. Um, so tell us a little bit then about so again so the entry fee and or if anyone still wants to enter online, they can enter online or download um, the forums. Um, so the race is starting at twelve p.m. Now also, um, is there can juveniles enter or is it just for adults only? Like what age group is there? Uh, anybody from fourteen up can can enter, and uh, the the price for uh, to enter for an adult is ten euros uh, to do one event or to do the two events it, it's fifteen euros. Okay, so for an adult um, to do the complete course is fifteen euros. Okay, for fifteen. And for euros. a juvenile to do the complete course is ten euros. It's ten euros. Okay. And if you're part of a team, it's twenty euros per team. Okay, so, so it's ten or each to okay. do the, the event. Yeah, so I think we have a, a video coming up here of um, a bouncy castle in action. So this is something the kids absolutely love. These bouncy castles have become very, very popular indeed. And um, um, the kids never tire of them. Kids and adults, as you can see from this footage. <laughs> I've been known myself to have a go on these bouncy castles and slides. So um, as you can see, uh, lots of fun for the children and for the adults. Um, uh, so <coughs> he's are in Division One this year, I believe, in the in the championships, and he's got defeated last year by Cavan Gales. I'm sure he's are really hoping for a big win this year. How's the preparations going, um, Horik? It's going very well so far. We have um, three wins out of three, and uh, we're playing the ga Cavan Gales again this weekend. Oh my God, a big one, <laughs> a big game! So I'm sure it'll be a huge turnout. Whereabouts that? That's it, that's in town here in Cavan and Terry Park. Uh, um, so uh, we're looking forward to that to see uh, to revenge, hopefully for, for last year's championship. But um, it should be a good match. That sounds great. So that that match is taking place on on Saturday. On Saturday. So hopefully you'll win it and it'll be good. Um, run up yeah. to the events on 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 Sunday. And we encourage everybody out there to get to that game and support your Casarahan uh, footballers. And um, I'm sure it'll be. Um, an exciting and nail biting um, uh, game, <laughs> and um, and good luck to Cavan Gales also, and may the best team win. Um, so um, you know, just if you want to, um, and you're really interested about um, going to the uh, 25k run and fun challenge um, on Sunday in um, Fay Park in Bally James stuff. That's in Fay Park in Bally James stuff. Um, so you can head there on Sunday, and if you want more information, um, just check out www.castlerahangaa.ie. And again, admission is one euro, and all the details are on the website if you want to find out about um, entering with a partner or um, taking the challenge by yourself. Um, okay, so um, tell about all the you've other underage footballers in the club. Um, how he's getting on, at, you know, with the yeah, leagues and, and um, we from under eights up. Our numbers are very good this year. We have uh, thirty uh, playing under eights, and oh. uh, we've up and forty under tens. Okay. Um, our under twelves are very strong as well, and uh, uh, our numbers club all through. Under fourteens we have good numbers, and under sixteens are good numbers, and um, they're all doing quite well in competitions this year. So that's in 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 the boys' football and the ladies' football. Yeah, well, they are mixed at the, at underage level up on up until the um, twelve, and uh, the, the, we separate then into the, the ladies and the, and the boys. Yeah, I'm a big ladies footballer myself, um, so I, I'm I'm always back in the ladies football, and it's great to hear mm. of um, more and more uh, you know uh, clubs um, having the ladies teams mm -hmm. and and promoting it. I think it's important the ladies really take it. Very seriously, would you agree, Park? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing that, 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 seeing
that should be exciting too. So a lot's coming up. And um, you're funding then for the club, um, you're, you have lots of funding coming in for the club and I suppose the sponsorship, you're kind of looking, still looking for more sponsorship for, for Sunday, is that right? Yeah, we're never thrown away from the sponsorship. Yeah. Um, the sponsorship is always very important to football clubs. Uh, as uh, It takes an awful lot of money to run a football club these mm -hmm. days. Uh, they, there's a lot of costs involved with insurance and yeah. um, different things. So uh, yeah, sponsorship is very welcome always. Yeah, I, absolutely. I suppose it is important that, um, I suppose, and you've a lot of voluntary work goes on in, in the clubs um, with training and um, I suppose maintaining the football grounds and whatnot. So I suppose all of this can can really help. Yeah, it, it takes uh, it takes a lot of money to just keep the ground and the uh, uh, upkeep of the ground and to um, to keep the club running. So uh, it, it takes an average, I suppose, maybe forty to fifty thousand a year to keep an average football club running. So yeah. it's a lot of fundraising. Yeah. So I. Love to thank you both for coming in and uh, Park and Anna wish you the best of luck with um, Sunday's event and I hope you know I hope you're blessed with the weather you. and that um, you know the people turn out and um, I'm sure it'll be um, a, a great event so I wish you the best of luck with that and I hope it goes well and um, and if I'm if I wasn't in London next weekend I would be getting myself down there I don't know how fit I am or I'm not really um, prepared but anyway so that brings us to an end um, to all about sport for this week from top of the town studios in Conley Street Cabin and Owen will be back again next Wednesday evening at the same time to bring you more sport on cabintv.com so don't forget from tomorrow there will be deferred coverage of all about sport on Smith's Cable Vision in Cabin Town and also on cabintv.com and thanks to all our contributors on the programme this evening Desi Turney, Kieran Monaghan, Porrick and Anne from Castle Rahan GAA Football Club. All About Sport was produced by Brian Daly and Michael Goldrick and the show was directed by uh, David Van Standen. And if you want your sport featured on the programme, um, email drumlamedia at gmail.com. So to stay with Cabin TV as up next is our weekly music show, The Green Room, presented by the boisterous, the gorgeous, the irresistible, the delectable Paul Cox. So until next week at 7 when Owen McConnell uh, will be back in the hot seat, it's goodbye um, from me, Louise Riley, and thank you.